Los Angeles. Posted July 27th, 1033 AM. Hmm. I need some music. Okay. On Monday, July 29th, I began a new project. I will be recording an album of a band called... No. Of a band for a very famous producer. The band is relatively unknown other than within the record industry. An industry which, for the most part, is currently filled with the bitter losers of the biggest bidding war in the history of the music business. I am acquaintance of the producer, although acquaintance likely exaggerates the depth of our relationship. I did record for him once, but only for two hours, and I'm not entirely confident he even remembered that. I can assure you, he would have never thought to hire me if it weren't for the band. You see, I know the band. Or perhaps I should say I know half the band. Regardless, the band members are fans of my work. The bands are often fans of my work. Hell, they don't know any better. They listen with the innocence of a person who enjoys music and musicality. They are still to some extent, pure as listeners. They don't have the baggage of needing a hit affecting their judgment. Yet. If I could describe what I know of the band in just two words, those words would have to be Supreme Negotiators. The label wanted them to use one of a short list of producers. From what I understand, there were two names on said list. The band members, understanding the ways of the world, pointed out to the label that it was really their choice as to what producer they hired. After all, they were the ones who would ultimately pay the producer's advance and royalties. Hell, they'd be paying them a balloon payment for their sales before they made a dime in royalties setting them even further in debt. Of course, the record company pointed out that it was the label's upfront money that would allow the record to be made in the first place. Just in case that wasn't enough of a reality dose, the label also explained that although it paid over $2 million for the right to have them, it would be perfectly content the only purpose for spending that money were to prevent the other children from having them. Ouch. The band looked at the shortlist and made the obvious choice. The first name on the list. Durr. As I said, the band members are supreme negotiators. Yeah. And while they lost their first big negotiation where the making of their album was concerned, they had an alternate plan. They would get an ally in the room. That's where I come in. They insisted in their negotiation that I record the album. Oh, yeah. You can imagine how that went over. Mixer who? Mixer what? The label, not wanting to seem completely unyielding and firmly believing that... The tracking engineer has little power in the direction of the album. Morons. Agreed. So long as the producer was cool with it. As it turns out, the producer is familiar with my work, which I suppose isn't so hard to believe. After all, we are acquaintances. Countless times we've passed each other in the halls on the way to and from the loo. Perhaps that was the clincher. I don't know. 
Regardless, the producer agreed to meet with me and ultimately agreed to the band's terms. Now the band has its ally. Of course, the band is overlooking the fact. Of course, the band is overlooking the fact in, that in the next three years, the producer will probably record in the neighborhood of 12 albums. While the band is God knows where, playing the same 15 songs every night, wondering why they would ever write such trash. And if I were to connect the dots for you, producer could offer me a hell of a lot more work in the coming years than the band could. But yes, despite this, I am surely the band's ally. <sighs> and so I have decided that in the coming months I will be documenting my daily adventures in recording an L.A. bidding war band with a famous producer. Romance novels have been written on the basis of less, so why not? Uh, it's entirely possible this documentation will be complete Tuesday. You never know. I could be fired. But for now, I'm hired, and we start Monday. Each morning, I will supply you with the documentation of the past day's events. The identities of those involved will not be revealed so as to protect the not so innocent. Knowing the band, or at least half of it, and having some knowledge of how the producer operates, I expect it could be an interesting read. Add in the cast of characters that work for the label, who are not without their own fame, and we have the makings of a veritable soap opera, or it could be the most uneventful album I've ever made. But somehow, I doubt that. <laughs> Mixer Man. <laughs> <laughs>